the JAMA Network. I am Dr. Deborah Levine. I am a physician scientist and an assistant professor of medicine in the departments of internal medicine and neurology at the University of Michigan Medical School and the VA Ann Arbor Healthcare System. The background of this research is that stroke is common, costly, and disabling. Cognitive decline is a major cause of disability in stroke survivors, yet cognitive problems after stroke have not received enough attention. We decided to study this particular topic because there was a key knowledge gap. Although it is known that stroke is associated with acute cognitive decline, it was unclear whether stroke is also associated with decline in cognitive function over the long term. That is, do stroke survivors experience accelerated and persistent cognitive decline over the years after the event, after controlling for their cognitive changes before and acutely after the stroke? We conducted a prospective cohort study of 23,572 participants aged 45 years or older, free of baseline cognitive impairment, participating in the REGARD study, which stands for the Reasons for Geographic and Racial Differences in Stroke Study. Participants enrolled between 2003 and 2007 and were followed up through March 31, 2013. Over a median of 6.1 years, 515 participants had expert physician adjudicated incident stroke, and 23,057 participants remained stroke-free. Our primary outcome was global cognition as measured by the six-item screener. Secondary outcomes were new learning as measured by the word list learning test, verbal memory as measured by the word list delayed recall test, and executive function as measured by the animal fluency test. We found that stroke is associated with acute cognitive decline and also accelerated and persistent cognitive decline over six years. We found that stroke is associated with significant long-term cognitive decline over the years after the event, even after controlling for survivors' pre-stroke cognitive trajectories and their changes acutely after the event. Our study has potential implications for clinical practice, research, and healthcare policy. Our results suggest that stroke survivors warrant monitoring for mounting cognitive impairment over the years after the event. Our results also suggest that long-term cognitive dysfunction is a potential domain for evaluating acute stroke therapies. Finally, healthcare systems and payers will need to develop cost-effective systems of care that will best manage the long-term needs and cognitive problems of this growing and vulnerable stroke survivor population. We need to determine whether the acute and also the long-term accelerated cognitive declines after stroke are the result of incomplete rehabilitation from the initial stroke, ongoing or new brain injury from uncontrolled vascular risk factors, behavior changes, or other mechanisms.